I love hip hop right now, man. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, because I can't even tell you what song is on the radio right now. It's just I hear it. I don't. I don't care, man. I, if I hear it somewhere in a lobby at a hotel, if I hear it coming out of a car, I don't care whose song it is. I just I love it. Like I, I can't be mad at any rap, any rappers. I'm not really mad at anybody right now. It's funny because a lot of my audience, a lot of the kids that like what I got to say, they say, they come to me at the shows and say things like, yo, thanks for holding it down for the underground or thanks for not being mainstream. I hate mainstream. Thanks, you know, and it's kind of like, you know, I respect everybody's opinion. And not only, I used to think like that. I used to be that kid. Separated. Yeah, separated. Yeah. But I don't separate it anymore now because now it's kind of like, you know, I, I guess I went through a phase where I realized I grew up with this stuff and I've, I've seen it go through so much stuff that, yeah, there are artists out there that I probably wouldn't get along with and ha hang out with, but I can't hate on anybody's music. I can't hate on it for a million reasons. It's like, you know, a, a lot of people don't want me to like gun rap. I don't listen to gun rap. I don't sit at home and, and bump it, but I'm not mad at it because the way I see it is like right now, you know, cats like 50 Cent, A, employ probably 150 black people every time he goes on tour and puts money in their pockets so that they can pay their rent officially. That's tight to me, that's hip hop. That's what hip hop has become. You know, it's like, it's not just the voice of the youth anymore now. It's the voice, and, and not only that, it's not just the voice of the, the black and Latino youth anymore. It's become the voice of American, if not world youth, but it's also become so many different types of voices. It's an employment voice now. It helps enable people to do things. It helps enable people to start businesses, to get other people enabled to do things. You know, it's a voice of, you know, and not only that, but man, I think about gun rap, man, and it's like, man, there's some kid out there right now that works at Subway Sandwiches and he just got off of work and he hates his boss. And he goes out to his car and he gets in his car and he puts in a record where the rapper kills a bunch of people and he feels better <laughs> and rather than going back into his job and stabbing his boss. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like people need those types of outlets. People need those types of movies. People need those types of things. I'm more so concerned with, I guess, how the 11 year olds take some of that stuff. How the 12 year olds take some of this music. You know, it's like there's definitely responsibility on parents to, to be like, yo, if your kid is listening to hip hop, pay attention to what he's listening to and talk, talk to him about the stuff he's listening to because he is starting to form his identity right now. And he's doing it through music, movies, and video games, and any kind of art he can consume, books. If your kid's reading books, that's beautiful. Keep him on it, keep her on it, but talk to her about it so that you aren't putting yourself in a position of growing a child who believes that this is really how black people act. A lot of white America youth do think that that's how black people act. And it's because of those records. And I can't, because that's, that's you know, is they're, they're, what they get is these records, they get the TV, they get the movies, and they get the news. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and, and all four of those things are pushing right now such a hardcore version of, of, of like the anti-hero, which is a beautiful thing in one sense if it makes people understand that there are bad things going on in the world that need to be fixed. It's a beautiful thing if these people have a full understanding. You know, it's, the fact that this stuff is really big and large right now, this is still the voice of the ghetto, but it's just one particular voice of the ghetto. And if, if, that, can, if that voice can be used to get people to actually study and analyze and see what's really going on that's a great thing but it that, that's not necessarily what's happening if you aren't helping your 12 year old understand that's what's happening you know instead your 12 year old is 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 is, is making the own yeah yeah it's like everybody knows what i'm talking about but my issues are not with the artist my issues are not with the music my issues are with where it goes from there because quite honestly i do think that it is healthy for a 24 year old to be able to go out to his car and listen to that record in order to vent his frustrations, sing along with it with the windows up, down, I don't care, but vent his frustrations. I do think that that is, that is, that, that is not a bad thing, you know? And, and then people want me to, to be like, yo, mainstream stuff like the Black Eyed Peas. It's like, come on, man, are you kidding me? The Black Eyed Peas are closer to what hip hop was really all about than any of us are. Like the Black Eyed Peas make music for you to dance to, to forget about your problems, to have a good time. And I gotta imagine, you know, I wasn't there, 
but somewhere in, in, in 1978 in some burned out abandoned building in the Bronx in the basement, there was a party going on and it was not songs about how their girlfriend left them. And it was not songs about how smart you were. And it was not songs, it was songs that were de designed to make you forget about your problems. You already had enough problems. Hip hop was here to take you away from your problems, to give you an outlet to have a good time, to get your art on, to get your fashion on, to look good in front of people, to have, you know, and it's like, people want to hate mainstream hip hop now. And, you know, and granted, I'm sure part of it's just because I'm older. Some people are going to be like, yo, you only embrace it now because you want to be mainstream. Like there's going to be all kinds of like, you know, whatever. But the, the, the truth is like, I don't hate anybody on this tree. Like it's like this tree, I've been watching this tree grow from afar. Like I grew up in Minneapolis, so I didn't even get to water the tree when it was a baby. I just had to watch it and hear about it and think about it. And now it's turning into this huge tree, man, with branches for everybody. It's like, if you don't like that branch, go hang around on that branch. Leave that branch alone. Don't hate on the branch and, and, and vice versa. You know, I saw the little phase where like a lot of the more hardcore rappers wanted to hate on the backpackers and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, man, there's room for all of this stuff. As long as everybody believes in what they're bringing to the table this stuff can make everybody grow and, and you can learn just as much from an atmosphere record as you can learn from a from a sean price record that you can go and learn over here from a g unit record like quite honestly it's all it's all hip-hop and it's all I, I can't i can't be mad at it anymore <laughs>